you guys have on a Saturday morning breakfast. This is what Mama Lisa does. We usually cook up a big breakfast, and today we are doing uh, sausage gravy and biscuits and bacon. And I have my Bob Evans here, and I already have some fried up, so let me show you how I make my homemade sausage gravy. Get all the pink out of there. Although it really wouldn't matter because it's going to cook in there anyways. And I like my sausage ground up pretty fine or browned really fine. I don't like big hunks of sausage in my gravy. And this morning we have a special guest at breakfast. Let me introduce you to Kyle. <laughs> Hi Kyle! Did you come to Meemaw's house for breakfast? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi. So you're going to be a YouTube sensation someday too, aren't you? Yeah. There is no real measurement recipe to this. It's just more of an eyeball thing. And I've got, like I said, I've got a pound of sausage here. And I'm just going to sprinkle my flour over it. There should be enough fat in there to make a decent amount of gravy. And I'm just going to cover my sausage. A little snow on the sausage there. <laughs> I got my bacon grease back here if we do need a little bit more oil. But this should be enough. Now I know there's a lot of people that take and drain their sausage and put the grease back in there and they do their roux that way me i used to do that but i learned why i do that this is just as easy just pour the uh, flour with it and it absorbs into the flour and the grease uh the flour picks it up out of the uh, meat <laughs> oh, good it's trying to figure out what i'm gonna how i'm gonna word that there it's like don't think too hard here let's do a little bit more and of course you have to know the more flour you use the more gravy you have Alrighty, and I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to this. <laughs> and a little bit of salt. You can add a little bit of crayle to this if you wanted to, just for the red pepper um, to spice it up. But I'm not going to today because little man Kyle is going to want to nibble on some biscuits and gravy. So I don't want to give him a belly ache. So there's that, and I'm just going to get my milk. Okay, and I'm just going to start pouring that in there. I'll put a decent amount. Now that may look like a lot, but it's going to soak up that flour, and it'll actually probably need uh, more. Do you want you guys want to put the biscuits on the pan, Lena? And I just keep my spatula moving so that I don't have any clumps in my flour, which honestly doing it this way, I really have never had any clumps doing it this way. I know a lot of people, the old, you know, the rule is just make your roux and then add your sausage and stuff, but this has always worked out great for me. And it takes less effort. <laughs> and what we do for a Saturday morning breakfast. And we have some bacon to go with it, too. And there's our gravy. And that right there is just perfect. Some people like their thicker, some like it thinner. This right here is my ideal consistency. I don't like it super thick. Um, and that right there is a lot of gravy. 
it will feed a few people so at least four or five people And there's our Saturday throwdown at Mama Lisa's. There's our gravy. We have some bacon, some sausage, and biscuits. I hope you guys have a blessed Saturday and enjoy your breakfast together. Nanny. Oh, him has his belly full. Now he's going to take a nap. Right? You could take a nap. Oh. Hmm. So Saturday mornings are four.